I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Wheel of Fortune and, and it's with the higher fent. The Wheel of Fortune, it's actually a card that reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. Because the wheel is constantly turning. But it's sitting here in, in your reading, so it's actually about good fortune right now. It can be about a turning point. Good luck. Stroke of good luck here. And that's how you and your person felt about each other. How the two of you, <clears throat> the two of you could have felt about the connection. Because the Hierophant is, is the card that's below the word pass, below the will of fortune. The Hierophant is a very ethical, moral, and traditional type of energy. It's, it's very genuine loyal, honest, and sincere. So what this is telling me, Capricorn, is that you were dealing with someone who the both of you felt lucky to have each other. Very lucky. And you felt, you both felt like you were with someone that was keeping it real. They felt good about you and your energy, and you felt good about them and their energy. You both felt really lucky to have each other. Yeah, you felt like it was the real deal. You felt like it was a, a genuine connection. You felt like there were no games being played. Yeah, that's what you get with the Hierophant. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got Judgment, and it's with the Ten of Swords. Now, Judgment can be about jumping to conclusions. So what this is telling me is that, yeah, it's telling me that you something could um, take place, whereas you might... start to be really judgmental towards your person maybe something they did or something they said you could start to jump to conclusions and you might have a hard time forgiving yeah that's what judgment can be about and because this is with the ten of swords you too could start you might feel like detaching or you could start to feel like the connection is um, is ruined. You might have a hard time opening up to your person. You could feel this. For some of you, this could be some type of betrayal. Or you just don't trust that the connection is stable anymore. Something happened. Maybe something your person said or did. And they feel like you're being too judgmental and they feel like you're not offering forgiveness yeah so something happened for some of you Capricorns you're dealing with a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius for some of you now let's move on over let's see what the challenge is okay so we got the chariot and it's with the Sun card now the Sun card is beautiful. You see how it pops out over all the cards here. It actually pops out over all the cards in the deck. Yeah, it's about happy. So this is telling me that whatever this, whatever was said or did that makes you feel like 
you can no longer trust the connection is stable. It, it took its toll on you, or it will be taking its toll on you. And you realize you just want to be happy again. Yeah, you just want to feel good again. You want the sun to shine. Yeah, so for some of you, you could be rushing towards, I say rush because the chariot is a card that's below the word challenge. It, it goes really fast. You could be rushing towards taking charge of your own destiny. You're rushing towards something. You could be just rushing towards trying to be happy again. Because this Ten of Swords is ugly. It, it makes you feel defeated. You're rushing towards some plans that you've made to be happy. It's all about being happy again. You don't like that you feel like this. You don't like those swords being in your back. The chariot it goes really fast, but it's actually, it has a plan, it has a goal, and it has a dream in mind. It's not a free-for-all type of energy. So you've got something all mapped out. you got some plan to bring sunshine back into your life. And for some of you, you want to bring sunshine back into the connection. For some of you. I don't see you walking away. I don't see it. Not in this, not in this reading. So... You're planning, for some of you, you're planning to bring the happiness and the joy back into the connection. And you're trying to figure out how to do it really fast. Because you, you don't like this energy. You don't like these swords. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Empress. And it's with the Hermit. Well, the Empress can be about deep love. So your person could be expressing that they've got a lot of love for you. Empress can be about attraction. They're drawn to you magnetically. Um, they could be expressing this to you. For some of you, you could be finding out that you're pregnant. Yeah, the Empress can be about pregnancy. And you just want to clear your mind. You figure, you figure you need to clear your mind. And maybe get refocused. Get rid of some baggage. Yeah, because it seems like a lot of things are going on for you at this time. But your person, they're expressing to you that they've got a lot of love for you. The Empress can be about deep love. For a lot of you, you could find that um, a lot of people are drawn to you. Maybe for some of you, you've gotten your happy back. Yeah, maybe it's with this person. Like I said, you have, you got some type of plan and goal and dream just to be happy again. It could be working because the Empress is about coming abundance. And... You could just be remembering to take time for yourself and not to be so focused on whatever happened that was negative in the connection. Now, for some of you, just let me tell you this. The chariot can sometimes mean walking away, but I'm not really getting that. That's why I said I don't see walking away. But for some of you, you are walking away. But there's a lot of love here. The sun card is here. And I don't know, I just, you know, I like the recent past energy. I do. I like it for you and your person. Somebody just said something stupid or made a big mistake. There's love here with the Empress. Things just need to get 
put put back on track. And the chariot is here, so that could be possible. So that is the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.